Welcome to the musculoskeletal video series. In each video, we will demonstrate a complete joint-specific physical examination. These examinations would be appropriate for a patient with a specific musculoskeletal complaint. Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Newcomer from the Mayo Clinic. I'm a physiatrist here. This is my model, Matt, and today I'm going to show you a basic ankle examination. As with all musculoskeletal examinations, we start with inspection. For the ankle, I'll first watch the patient walk. What I'm looking for is an antalgic gait, which would mean that Matt has significant pain in his ankle. And Matt's going to demonstrate that. So as you can see, he's favoring the left side. I will also inspect the patient when I'm, when I'm palpating, looking for any swelling, asymmetry from side to side with an ankle sprain, you'll often have significant swelling on the lateral aspect of the ankle. Then I will start palpation. Always palpate systematically. I'll start on the medial side, and I'm showing the right just for demonstration purposes. The, the posterior tibialis tendon comes around the medial malleolus along with, as you remember, the Tom, Dick, and Harry. You also will palpate, so you want to palpate that. Then you palpate the medial ligament, not as oftenly sprained, but it can be sprained. This is your deltoid ligament, so palpate that. Anterior is usually where it's sprained. Then you will go to the navicular tuberosity, which is a fracture that you don't want to miss and can happen with an ankle sprain. It, you usually feel a bump right here in the arch of the foot. Then you come along to the lateral aspect of the ankle and the perineal tendons wrap around the lateral malleolus. These are commonly strained, so you do want to palpate this. Even with a lateral ankle sprain, you can strain these tendons. The, the perineus brevis in, inserts onto the head of the fifth metatarsal, and you can get an avulsion fracture here, so it's really important to palpate that bone, the fifth metatarsal. Then we'll get, come along to our ligaments, the ATFL is the most commonly sprained, and it comes off the anterior aspect of the lateral malleolus, almost at a 90 degree angle. So palpate that. The calcaneofibular ligament comes just directly inferior to the lateral malleolus, so palpate that well. Posterior talofibular is much less commonly sprained, but palpate, palpate back in that region as well. For range of motion, I'll usually start with having the patient do it actively. Matt, I'm going to have you bring your foot up. That's dorsiflexion. Bring your foot down. That's plantar flexion. Bring your foot in. That's inversion or supination. And then bring your foot out. That's eversion or pronation. For the anterior drawer test, it's important to make sure that the knee is flexed to 90 degrees. Foot's plantar flexed to about 20 degrees. You stabilize with your top hand on the tibia and fibula. You grab the talus and calcaneus in a C shape with your other hand. And then it's just a, a quick jerk forward in, an an, in a posterior to anterior direction, like this. And you're feeling for instability. This test is checking the anterior talofibular ligament, or the ATFL. If a patient has posterior pain, I will have them prone to inspect and palpate. Although the plantar fascia technically isn't part of the ankle, it's a common place for pain, so I want to point it out. The calcaneal tubercle on the medial side of the calcaneus is the most common place for the plantar fascia to be tender, so you want to make sure you palpate that spot right there. The Achilles tendon inserts onto the calcaneus and is a very common area for Achilles tendinopathy or tendinitis, so make sure you palpate that. The Thompson test is a very important test if you have any suspicion that the patient has an Achilles tendon rupture. It's a very simple test. You squeeze the gastroc and you see plantar flexion of the foot. If the Achilles tendon is torn, you won't see that. It will just stay right there. Thank you for tuning in to the ankle exam.